Rosy Day? What? <laughs> no. Who? Uh, in Facebook? Uh, you know I'm not so much into Facebook. Yeah, because I'm not so active anyway. I don't know, you need to follow who will be followed and all that stuff. Okay, okay, I'll check. If I can remember my password. Okay, I'm checking now. Okay. Smiling like this, yeah. At our studio. <laughs> <laughs> this glory was the worst idea. Yeah, you can't even see. Yeah, you can't see. Hey, guess what? Oh, Coca Cola. Me, I was given a car to drive. Do you guys remember? What? The, the rules here are different from the rules in Oh, no, see, just the car itself. Like, it's gears. Me, it's a how not to put gears. <gasps> You've been on out Yeah. So we was using one leg. I'm kinda of getting here, I'm going to the clutch. I was just like so confused. When it hit me like that, you both like You know, when I was at home, I, I, I drove my mom's automatic car. Like it's um it's a, it's on this side, mm -hmm. then it's an automatic car. The US is like this side. Yeah. So that was on that side. And, and then you have to be on that yeah. side. And then I'm already thinking like um, I'm supposed to drive. Oh gosh, I'll stop. I'm supposed to drive on I don't know what side of the lanes. And then there's a confusion that where the hell am I going? You know, because I didn't have the directions. And Kenya is not the place where you where you put the GPS and you yeah, drive. You know, yeah. so you're going with the idea of what you've been told. No, okay, it's easier. You just follow the cars. You can just follow the cars. You go however they feel like. Yeah, but obviously when we go on the other side of the road. In Kenya, you just go in the flow. Woohoo! Summer baby. Oh, do you know? Actually, I was thinking. Yeah. This year it's gonna skip. Okay. Really? This year it's actually gonna skip the spring. The spring. Yeah. yeah. It's just like from this to the, to summer. summer. Yeah. Move it, move it, move it. Oh, I love that place. It has a funny farm. It feels like Sar Haniemi. Yeah, like you're in a lucky. Oh, goodness. Really? What time is it? Time to go home. It's traffic time, yeah. It's an everyone is on the road. Why did you come all this way? I don't know, because there's no little down You guys that usually way. follow the other way. It's not little down that way. No, little is straight on. What? Sasa, umetezo parking zote zote kaka kampu. And so you're the one who's telling me to reverse. Oh, you mean like I to reverse go to another one. one? Yeah. Yeah. I had the same thought. There's all those. Yeah, let me park there even if it's a bit far. Park here.
Honey, hmm? what are your plans for Valentine's? Because I really have a good idea what I want. What do you mean? I was thinking maybe ring or bracelet. Are you serious? All this? <laughs> what? But you know what I think? It's only Valentine's that I'm allowed to ask for these things. I want to make my nails, change my hair, I want to um, do a facial, go for a sauna, maybe for massage. Uh, what else do I want? I want chocolates, I want uh, my favorite wine. Oh, the list is endless. You know what? I don't care about the Valentine's thing. I loved you from the first day that we met, you know? Uh, everything is all about uh, Valentine's. It's all about this Valentine's. I love you and I still love you. So stop this about the hairstyle, about the whatever. But I thought you loved me. Look, Emily is going to Mexico. My friend Linda is, uh, her boyfriend just proposed. So what about me? I cannot ask for what I want. Who is Linda into this relationship? There's nothing about Linda, blah, 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 blah. So Valentine's X. Let's meet at uh, Easter party. Then we'll talk about your family things and everything. Easter. Chocolate. Flowers. Are you a bee or what? I can't do that. No. No. Happy Valentine's. And I still love you. Take care. Or maybe you have a bigger surprise than this. But think about it. And Mr. Jeffries, where does the government stand on the case? Your Honor, we have enough evidence to proceed with possession and child endangerment. Child endangerment Mr. Jeffries, what evidence have you submitted at this point? The police report from the arresting officer, which includes an admission of guilt from the defendant, the cocaine removed from the face and hands of the victim, and a toxicology report indicating the levels of the drug in the child system when he was admitted to the ER. We'll be asking for a minimum of five years in state prison. What? It is our hope, Your Honor, that the court will take into consideration that this is my client's first offense and that the state granted her... You guys get back together. You helped when Fiona got arrested. Good thing that I didn't hit on him. I was totally gonna. Oh, okay. I'll do a crap is ridic. Who gives a shit about math? When am I ever gonna use it? Probably all the time. Let me just copy yours. How about spaghetti and meatballs? Anything with balls in it is good. Okay. Hey, hon, where the hell have you been? Gary broke up with me. It's got pubes on it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What guy doesn't have pubes on his soap? My soap doesn't have pubes on it. Well, obviously you're not washing your pubes. You came all the way down here to talk about my pubes? Just give me a gun. I'm in a bar on the south side. How the fuck do you not have a gun? Not everyone's a thug. Should be it for anyway. Alibi got robbed. They stole the keg that I keep the money in. Wait, wait. I'm gonna make him come back. I'll put that in. Okay, like what? Mm, you can tell me your dog got sick. Or that you got molested. That's a good one. Hey, good afternoon. Sorry about the wind. Had to throw a stitch into a patient's cervix before her little critter slipped out too early. Yikes. But we're all good, and it's time to look at your little critters. Okay. What, no Kev? Or, hmm. And how have you been feeling lately? Loaded and fat. You keep that in a fucking keg? I don't trust the bank. Kev, that's my money. No. My money? The 30% going to you. What was that? We're 50-50. Bullshit, 50-50. It's my bar. My horse. Yeah, we'll get your horse. That was fun. Finally, if you want another one. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, hey. If you
you doing? Who is this? You've been texting all night with her. You were sitting right there, and I'm right here next to you. Let me explain. Let me explain. You see that picture? That's not. I don't know her. I don't know how it happened to be there. Seriously, I don't know her. You're my love. I love you. What's What's wrong with you? You're not ashamed of yourself. You should get out of my house. You should really get out of my house and never come back again. Oh, 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 so this is your house, yeah? <laughs> your house. So, who paid this house last month? It's okay, even if I paid once. I own it. We are together. Anyway, is this a house? Hey, come on. You really, really have so much disrespect for me. I bring you into my house, I accommodate you, do, do I have a ring on me? Do I have a ring on me? And yet you get all these men privileges? What? The ring? For what? Who said I'll marry you? Never! Get the hell out of here and don't come back anymore! Never come back to me! What? Yeah, just yap yap yap. Um, oh, 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 yeah? <laughs> Fuck, let me wear my clothes, I'm going. And when I come back, you'll see my back. So much for but the present for you. If this Lucia's boo thing is gonna be something to you, you think she's gonna give you anything that I've given you, you just go ahead. Go ahead. It's gonna be a night, two nights, and she's done with you. And you'll be right here, but I'll not be ready for you. Just don't leave any of your stuff here, not a toothbrush or anything. Just. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking my tooth. You know, I'm a tourist anyway. I just take toothbrush. See you, I know you'll cry. And you'll need me. You'll call me. Yeah, and I won't pick because you've broken my phone. I'm going. Yeah, you can burn those clothes. Yeah. You can remain with the toothbrush. And you're there with your licious. Go ahead. You think I'm gonna be sobbing over you? Actually, I think it's a very good thing that God is doing to me. Just all these miseries, all this crying, all this monitoring, like your child. Just go to her and enjoy. <laughs> One night, two nights, three nights, she's gonna throw you out herself. You can't seem to support yourself, not even for a second. You paid one bill, two bills. How many times did I have to cover up for your phone bill after buying you a phone? Hmm. Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. <coughs> We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. Hello, Mom. Mama. Yeah, I'm okay, Mom. I'm okay. Everything is okay. No, 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 no. I'm okay, Mom. No. Yes, I have some depression here. I have. I don't know. My life is over, Mama. I don't know what's happening to me. It's like everything is lost. I can't even find myself. Yes, Mama. I don't know what's happening, you know. <clears throat> I just lost my girlfriend, the one that was supposed to get married this coming season, but 
Now it's over, Mama. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening to me, Mama. Yeah. No, I'm working, but I just took a long leave because I'm not performing well. Yes, Mama. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm okay. I'm not crying. Yeah, Mama. That is good. Yeah. Yeah, Mama. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, Mama. Pray for me, Mama. I don't know. Pray for me. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, I'm calling her, but she doesn't pick. It's like... I don't know. Maybe she blocked me or something. We're not communicating, Mama. Nothing. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. I'll hold her. No, it's okay. Yeah, sure, Mama. It's okay. Yeah, say hi to Dad. And brothers, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, don't come, don't, don't, no, 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 don't come, don't come, no. No, I'm okay, no. No, I'm gonna compose myself, I'm okay, I'm good. Yes, mom. Okay, love you, mama, thank you, yeah, okay. that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again.
of dying. I'm afraid I haven't been alive enough. Have you ever wished you could start your life over again? How much heartache, how much sorrow, how much pain would we avoid if we could just start over, live over, knowing what we know now? There are choices you would make that you made as a teenager, a young adult, you made, you wouldn't make now because you've grown up. You've learned through life. You learn through some of your failures. You learn through some of your mistakes. But wouldn't it be good you could just turn it off and turn it on? Start it over again. You can begin a new life. You can have a slate white clean. And that's right, a new life. You can either live your dreams or live your fears. And I think the majority of people actually are not living their dreams, but are living their fears. So I want to ask you a question. What are your fears? We all have fears, don't we? We all have something that's blocking us, that's holding us back. It's arrogant to believe that the next seconds of life belong to you. It's arrogant to believe that next week is here. Well, I'll get to it next week. You never know. Some of the randomest and strangest things happen to a lot of people unexpectedly. And we're reminded of that every day. So I'm asking you to not die before you die. Life is really short, okay? Today's a miracle. You'll never get this day again in your life.